So today, what we're gonna do is a video on kind of our daily routine of what we go about. So we're a small hobby breeder that is trying to turn this into a little bit of a business. Kind of this is just a little quick video about what we do every day. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Hale's Balls. If it's your first time joining us, make sure you click that thumbs up and please subscribe to us. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for returning. Hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. So today, what we're gonna do is a video on kind of our daily routine of what we go about. So I come down in the morning, so partly for work, and I just check every snake, make sure they look good, make sure there's nothing odd going on, so I'll go through and notice different things. So this would be first thing in the morning, coming down. And now we just notice who's in the shed, who maybe has a messing tub. Just an overall spot check. Check your water, make sure you got good water, make sure your water's not a mess. Make sure I'm not coming in any odd surprises. So this is what I would do. When we only have 14 snakes, somebody's taking a soap. When we only have 14 snakes, it's not really what this is. You guys do that? We well, have yeah, 14 snakes, it's not that big of a thing to go through. Uh, still trying to figure out what she is. Is she a Pastavi or just a Mojave? With the blushing that's going on in her, I'm pretty sure that she is Pastavi. What do you guys think? Yeah, she's still got a little bit of that too. But she's okay. Once you touch her, she's fine. There's a male. I'm 100% sure he's a Pastavi. This will be the color difference between the two of them. I mean, she's got the blushing and stuff going on. Her head's blushed out. She got some green, green eyes. So I'm pretty sure he's blushing green eyes, but just the color on him. So I think it's just a, a polymorph, the color variations of them. Those are a little detail. I kind of go through and do that every morning. Five, five minutes, we do a quick check. So then later on in the night, come home from work. Work 12 hours to come home. And what I'll end up doing is coming through and doing another wellness check and doing our spot cleaning. Let's go through and, and take a look. So we got our Mojave girl. We do have oh. over there in the corner. Let's take a look at, at Mania. She's the one that gave us the two egg clutch. She is looking good. She's had a couple meals since then. She's filled back up and she looks great. Let's drop her back down in there. We'll grab a paper towel. We'll take a good handful of that area, scoop it out of there. Here. This is a reptile wipeout disinfected, safe for, safe for reptiles. Once that's gone, there's a couple other things that vets recommend you and stuff, some stuff that's better. They don't switch out. Yeah. We just kind of clean it up. She's got a good amount of mulch in there. Close her up. We'll take a look at Bia. Now, Bia, I'm not going to disturb very much. I don't know if the camera's really picking this up or not. The picture doesn't, the video I'm looking at it. Does not, but she is deep in the shed right now. I don't know if you can get in there on her face with her blue eyes. I don't want to mess with her too much because this is a very significant shed here. Even on that, you're not picking up her blue eyes. She ovulated about three weeks ago. This is a pre laid shed, which means she's going to give us eggs this year. Looking forward to that. That's huge. Now we'll come down here and now you So when they are grabbing, carrying, I don't do much to their cage except for check waters. And make sure water's clear. If they got a mess in there, I don't clean it up. If it's poop cleaner or something like that, I'll pick up real quick. I don't go through and do a real good cleaning of their cage. I want to keep them as comfortable as they can be used to that area they're in. So we're not going to do a whole lot with them. I noticed this girl the other day. It's hard to see right now. She's going to give us the 11 eggs, one slug. You can see that smelly. It's getting pink, and she's super dark. She actually was in blue. Oh, she actually, you can see her eyes still. Well, she looks good. She's getting, she's going through a shed here. She is a normal, a normal female. There's something going on there. She's so dark. The stripe on her back is just so complete. The dorsal stripe is so complete on her. And it makes me think there's something else going on with her. Maybe not. This will be our second year pairing her up, so we'll see what we get. She got good water. Let's come down here and check on our boy Jupe. We've got a little bit of urates here. 
Stand up. What's that? Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, middle ass is just taking a little licking at us. That's Jupiter male. No, just he's got he's got them real deep green eyes. He probably is. And his colors are changing a little bit, so he probably is getting ready to go shit. But he's been feeding good for us. And then we got our girl down here, Cyrix, who's our spider. We're actually gonna do a video. My next video is gonna be about the spider gene. Oh, she got a little bit of poop back there. That's why it's always good sometimes to pull them out. She got a little bit of mess back there. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a video about the spider gene. It might take on it. Do a video on yeah, it. She's but the thing is, man, the spider gene, look how cool that, that pattern is. That webbing, the whites coming up the sides, the color, and what this snake can do to different morphs is just insane. Absolutely insane. Just or next video, which I'm hoping you'll get, get one out within the next week. So, get in here. Get this up. Now, one thing I do do is I keep her on the bottom shelf. In the tub and the rack system, there's less heat. Heat is a big part of the neurological thing that causes the issue. So I keep her down on the bottom. That's the kind of reason I do keep her down there, is in order to keep that heat at bay. Square it up down here. There we go. Alright. Let her go back in. This guy. We just had a video about him finishing a shed. But guess what? Get that shed again. He is growing so stinking fast. He's so dark right now. You can see he's really fine. I'm sure the camera's picking that up his eyes. And he's kind of looking very suspicious. As I turn, he keeps a lot down my head. And that's just through his heat pits. He looks pretty good. That's all I have to worry about is when they are in shed. I'm not seeing what's going on. Oh, Dig around, find, find a little urate down there. All right. First, Stephanie. What's up, little lady? Little. Yep, she is. The same age as our other two girls who went this year, and Cyrix. She was a very slow eater we got her, and she was definitely a mouser early. But she is super friendly. Oh, was she a friendly animal? It still is. She actually, as she's getting a little older, She's actually getting a little cooler and cooler, and she's getting some yellows coming up through here. Now, when I bought her, she was pastel, possible yellow belly. It's showing more and more and more as she gets older and older. Breeding hobby, her water looks good. All right, let's check out our little firefly girl. She got a little mess in there. And, uh, so what they like to do in these tubs, they don't hold a lot of moisture. So I will take their food, dump their water in there. I got you, look at her. So we got water refilled. Dump a little bit of water in there for humidity. Try to get that humidity right. This one holds humidity a little better than, than that one does. This is our Castell Leopard Hepatide Girl. She also has a yellow coming up here. here. Don't have a name for this girl yet. I don't think it's Cleopatra. What do you guys think? Is that what we should name her? Leave me a comment down below. We've got a little bit of a mess here, so let's clean that up. Spray and clean. We'll get this cleaned out. Now these tubs I do not have a deli cup dish for. Water kind of gets water kind of gets spilled into it and their mulch ends up in it. I'm gonna kind of just wipe it back dry. This is the FB10 tubs. I'm not sure what size deli cup these get. Put it up. Throw the deli cup back in there. For water, put him back home. We'll have to do a, we'll have to film a little bit of feed day. It's been a little while since we've done a feed, a quick feed video for you guys. Here's our little fired up female. That's off just to grab hold of her because she will just keep snapping us. And I feel that's less stress on her. You want to take that one? Are you ready to man up? <laughs> My daughter who films isn't a huge fan of this snake because she is nippy. 
She's been really good. She's been a while since she's popped at me like this. I think I just had to double pull the two on. So we'll do the same thing. We'll clean that water out of there. Not really hurt anything, but keeps a couple good stain. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks like he wants to take a tag and write the note. He's just super friendly. Oh, looks good. It's dry. We'll spray down. Ooh, ready to move to the next. So once we get more stakes, it'll be a little different. I think we're going to learn to do obviously this. You don't have to go timing up on the stakes. Early. I'm sure they'd rather do that than look at me and pick her. That's our DHI Anti Catstell 100% Pet Desert Ghost Female. She's going to be about a year or so, two years, for you get that she make Desert Ghost visual Desert Ghost with her. But it'll be an awesome time in our, our hobby to help Really, about all we do. Check water, clean this up real quick, spot clean. The well just checked with our animals. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. There it is. So you get notifications when we do post a new video. To our 63 subscribers out there, thank you. Appreciate it very much. And uh, to all our new viewers out there, please subscribe. Rock on.